So I'm Elena Sinel, I'm the founder of Acorn Aspirations and Teens in Artificial Intelligence. What made you, what got you into the sphere, what, what makes you do what you do? <laughs> Well, where do I begin? So that happened back in 2015 when I suddenly realized that my daughter, who was at that time in secondary school, was coming home every day learning to pass an exam. And I was studying something entirely different. I was studying conflict security and development at master's level at King's College London. And I decided that my time would be spent much better if I were to create change in education because I could see there were some fundamental problems um, and my daughter wasn't really learning uh, what was happening in the real world or the real world of work and I thought it would be amazing to show her what's really happening so I started taking her to hackathons on weekends um, and I was a complete beginner at that time it was my very first hackathon I took her to and I was just so overwhelmed I thought wow this is incredible what's happened and how my daughter grew within even just two days and the stuff that she learned and I started looking online as to whether there are any other hackathons for teenagers because that was an adult um, hackathon I couldn't find any so I decided well maybe this is it this is how um, to show the world how teenagers learn how the teenagers learn best and how mentors learn best so to begin with it was really focused only on teenagers because I thought this is really my primary target market, the, the, the group I really wanted to create change in, uh, but then I realized this is really how everyone learns, that people just learn together and I found uh, mentors learn a lot of stuff from teenagers so it's almost um, like reverse mentoring um, and every mentor who came to our hackathon they would say wow Elena I've learned a lot more here within two days than I've learned in my master's mm -hmm. program um, so I thought something incredible is happening and you know this should be happening a lot more often every single teenager I feel needs to understand uh, or needs to be part of the hackathon at some point and really experience uh, learning um, in a different way because it's project-based learning it's passion-driven learning it's purposeful learning it's learning how to combine lots of different um, skills together, it's design thinking skills, it's critical thinking, it's communication, pitching, delegation, teamwork, business skills, tech skills and you put all of this into one event and just incredible things happen. Teenagers just come out and ask me schools should be like that why is a school like that should be like a hackathon school should be a hackathon this is what I always hear from them and, uh, and I always encourage them well go back to your school tell them about it let's change the world together let let's um, teach teachers how to do hackathons or you do the hackathons in schools and I will support you so we've ran over um, 10 hackathons by now in the last two and a half years uh, we've worked with over a thousand teenagers um, probably as many mentors we've had so many expert speakers that would come and inspire teenagers today we are at the incredible Microsoft reactor offices and teenagers right behind us are changing the world they're tackling the most incredible challenges in climate change in equality mental health and they are just so enthusiastic the the team from CyberDuck told me they have never ever come across as enthusiastic audience who have been able to do the entire design thinking process as they were instructed with uh, the most incredible enthusiasm about the ideas that they're developing, um, doing user journeys, personas, everything, you name it. And now they're all building stuff and we will watch them pitch tomorrow. It's just really exciting for me to see. There are seven teams, uh, almost 40 teenagers we have today. Uh, teenagers who are completely beginners. I think we only have about five or six of them, but the majority of teenagers are returners. Kids who just come back every single time we run a hackathon, they come back to experience it again and again. And the more they come, the more advanced they become, there will come a point when 
we won't really need any tech mentors because they are just so advanced right now. The more often we do, the higher that tech skill uh, becomes. Uh, right now we're learning about artificial intelligence and how we can enhance life through artificial intelligence. Next time it could be something else, but uh, this is really exciting, exciting times when we can see teenagers taking on the most pressing challenges in the world um, using the incredible skills they already have, learning some extra skills and really driving those agendas and those conversations.